Shalom, welcome back you guys. So today we are going to be making a delicious dessert that you are gonna love and this is endless, priceless and delicious. So what we're gonna start out with is some heavy whipping cream, two cups of heavy whipping cream. And with that you guys, make sure that you like, share and also subscribe to this channel because trust me, you don't wanna miss my upcoming videos. But with that, let's get back into this video. So what you're going to do is you're going to whisk the heavy whipping cream until you have reached your capacity that you need. So the thickness, and I'm gonna show you the stages so you don't have to worry. So as you're whisking this, you're going to look for a thickness. And as you're whisking it, you could start to see the thickness. Once you see the first stage of thickness, what you're going to do is that's when you're going to stop and add your ingredients, which I'm showing you now. We're going to be adding some cookie butter. That's our specialty today. And this is going to intensify the flavor. You can find this at Walmart in the peanut butter where the peanut butter is and everything. So don't worry. I got you you want the product I gave it to you so from there I'm just gonna be adding about a cup of cookie butter this does not need any extra sugar or anything else because trust me we are going to build these flavors to the sweetness that you are going to love and enjoy and then what we're going to do is now add one tablespoon of vanilla extract and then you're going to give this a quick mix the reasons why I want you guys to stop at the point before it becomes thick is that way all of the ingredients is combined and incorporated together now you're going to bring back the whisk and now you're going to bring it to the final thickness that you want which you'll see shortly just keep watching and as you can see all of those flavors are coming together just like it's supposed to be and you're only going to blend this for just maybe a minute or two, or even three, just depending on how thick you want it. But two can work just fine. So from here, we're gonna set this off to the side, but I'm gonna give you guys a good close up. And this is where you can get creative. I'm gonna be using some perline pecans. That's right to add that extra sweetness to this ice cream. Mm. And if you guys could have smelled that cookie butter, I'm trying to tell you, it smells so good. <laughs> but I do like that extra crunch, especially when I'm enjoying any ice cream. So what I'm going to do is just basically get my meat cleaver which is clean of course and I'm just going to smash this just until it gets to the fact of crumbles because I'm adding it into ice cream and now I'm gonna bring back in that ice cream And I'm just going to spread just a little bit. You can be generous. You don't have to be generous, but for me, I'm gonna be generous. So I'm adding at least about three hints full and just sprinkling. And you also want to reserve some of those pearling pecans for later. Just keep watching. You'll see what I do with them next. And then you wanna take 
just a spatula or anything that has a flat surface and you just want to fold this in to each other. You do not want to whisk this at this point. Um, the main reason is you want those nice purling pecans to have the texture. Of course, you want that crunch. So you're just going to fold it in and once you've done that, you can bring out your silicone mold. Now I purchased this from Amazon. If you guys want this, I've also included the link in the bio by the way. And all you're going to do is it even comes with popsicle sticks too, you guys. So I was extremely excited. So I'm going to find exactly the one I got and I'll add that to the link in the description. So from there, you want to bring back that ice cream that you created and just go ahead and place it in the mold. And once you place it in the mold, what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much give it a tap as well too. And I'm going to show you this. The reasons why I'm saying this ahead of time before I actually show you on the screen is because you want to get out any air bubbles. You don't want air bubbles. And as you can see right now, I'm giving that quick tap. So make sure that you go ahead and give that quick tap. So therefore the ice cream that is sitting at the top does go down to the bottom of the mode. And right here I have a bread cutter and I'm just basically smoothing this out. You do want to smooth out the edges to make sure that you are getting a very nice smooth surface from when you pull it out and you also want to clean up the insides as well too which I'm going to show you right here so make sure that you separate them and clean up the out outer layer inner layers as well too this assures that your popsicles are not going to be sticking together nobody wants that <laughs> So once you're done smoothing out every single thing and cleaning up the inner layer and the outer layer, you're just going to give it a quick tap and that's it. Go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for two to three hours or until frozen. And while that's going, what we're going to do is add two cups of regular chocolate chips and then also four tablespoons of coconut oil. This is going to give that very silky smooth chocolate pop this in the microwave for at least 30 seconds and there that's what you're going to see once it comes out you do not need to pop it back in the microwave trust me just keep stirring it and once you stir it you're going to end up with something like this very simple and you're just going to give it a quick stir until you feel no more lumps and once you do, you're just gonna transfer this over to another glass that you can dip your popsicles in or your ice cream, which you can see me doing now. And you want to let this cool down for maybe about a good minute. You do not want to stick your popsicles in blazing hot chocolate okay <laughs> so once it's cooled down you can simply just go ahead and dip it right on in there and this does actually cool down really fast and harden really fast as far as the chocolate so you got to be quick with it you guys you got to be very fast unless you just want a chocolate layer that's it then you don't need to be in such of a rush but if you are trying to add something on there it's okay I got a trick that can help you once you're done covering all of your ice cream bars 
What you're simply going to do, as far as my trick, because I noticed three of my ice cream bars actually did harden. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> but I figured out a way around it. So I can add my extra toppings on top. So I went ahead and I grabbed some cookies, some biscuit cookies. I believe I said that right. <laughs> and I crunched them up and now I'm gonna add them on top. And you can add whatever toppings at this point on top. And then you remember I said reserve a little bit of those purling pecans. Yes, I'm going to be adding those as well too. And as you can see me doing that now. And here comes the trick that I'm going to show you. If your chocolate does harden, it's absolutely okay. All you're going to do is just go have a spoon or get a spoon and just take a little bit of chocolate and drizzle it right on top. That will stationary your toppings and also it will make it look so decadent and when people take a look at this, they're gonna be like, wow, you must have spent all day doing this, which we didn't. <laughs> so I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this recipe. There's definitely more coming. So with that, you guys, stay strong, stay healthy, stay in the spirit. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Hello.